For 45 years, the Mylar tracking station provided a crucial link between astronauts and their control centers. But last week, its antenna dishes were stowed for the last time. The tracking station began work at the Kennedy Space Center in 1966 during the Apollo program. In the shuttle era, it relayed voice and telemetry to and from the orbiter during the first seven and a half minutes of launch and for 13 minutes prior to Florida landings. Mylar also brought to the world stunning onboard footage from cameras mounted on the shuttle's fuel tank and during landing a pilot's eye view from the cockpit. The tracking station prided itself on always being go for launch. And as we've heard before, you've never ever been the the reason for a launch scrub or a delay or a TCDT problem of, of any significance and so it, it's just been a tremendous support posture you all have done and, and uh, speaking on behalf of the shuttle program I just really really thank you for that. Station director Gary Morse formally closed Mylar by ordering a 9 meter antenna be moved to its stowed position. The ceremony was watched by many Mylar workers who will now lose their jobs. The tracking and telemetry gear will be salvaged by other facilities and museums. The station's buildings will be demolished. It's, it's a sad feeling because I, I know, of course, the people, many of the people here are those uh, who hung tough uh, through my 26 years and some of them are still here and uh, will walk, walk away from what was a, a wonderful, wonderful effort in support of unmanned and manned space flight for this nation.